Hey everybody, what's going on? Scavenger here, and we're playing more Being a Dick. I hope you guys are ready. Let's go ahead and get into the game. Alright, so we're actually going to... I think we're going to talk to Katie because of the, uh, the thing that came out, you know, on the uh, rooster or insta... You know what it is. There's a, like a, a scandalous picture that came out. And she's not dealing with it very well. But I know she's with Isabella. And she's with um, um, Jill. So here we are. Isabella answered the door. Which I, I don't know if that's good or bad. Because she's not really a fan of Jonathan that much. We'll see. Jonathan, what are you doing here? I came because okay, I said Katie, Kathy. My bad, my bad. I came because of Kathy. You came because of Kathy. Yeah, I came because of Kathy. I want to talk to her. I think I can help. Come inside. I'm actually kind of surprised she's gonna let him come inside. Be nice when you talk to her. She's in a rough spot. All right, be confident or be modest. What does that even mean? I think confidence is the way to go on this one. When am I not nice? We don't know what to make of it all. Thankfully, no one has reposted the picture of her. It's a bit naive, but we're hoping that no one saved it and that it won't resurface. Yeah, knock on wood. Um... Uh, she didn't like that. I mean, everybody knocks on wood from time to time. Yeah, what? Are you coming? Yeah, so, um, what have you been up to tonight? We're trying to make her relax and talk about it. Just to encourage her. How's it going? At first she was upset, but it settled down a bit. Most likely due to the wine. She's had quite a few glasses of drink, but I'm second-guessing if the alcohol was the best idea. Jonathan, I... Hi. Hey, Jill. Hi, I'm surprised to see you. Hey, Kathy. Uh, mind if I join you? Uh, this is... Uh, maybe I should leave. Please don't. I know what happened. Of course you do. Is it starting already? You're probably sick of talking about it by now. I just wanted to see if I could help you somehow. Help me? How could you possibly help me? I've pledged the dicks, and I've been with them now. Last night, I was at the party when the picture got posted. Oh, great. There was even a party for it? No, um... I know the damage is already done, but listen to me. Someone stole the dick's laptop and posted that picture using their account. Rusty was panicking when he saw that post. Believe me, he was horrified. It wasn't him who did it. He found the laptop and deleted the post as fast as he could. As I said, it was a party, a big party. Anyone there could have done it. You're not allowed to have parties on campus grounds. Right, um, crap. And this isn't about who's to blame, Jonathan. That's the furthest thing from my mind right now. Tell me, what do they say about this? The dicks? Everyone. Are they laughing at me? Are they making fun of me? No, the dicks are scared. Scared? Yeah, they aren't laughing about it. Not at all. They're scared that you'll suspend the fraternity on Monday. Rusty is scared that he'll lose his position as a president after this. And I'm scared I won't have a place to stay if the fraternity is suspended. And that's it? No other comments? How honest do you want me to be? Spare me no details. Kathy, are you sure? Everything they say about this behind my back is better to hear it in this environment. I want to know what I can expect when I go back there on Monday. Okay. From what I've heard and saw on Roosters, students found the picture hot. Hot? No picture taken against someone's will is tasteful, but... You shouldn't feel ashamed of that picture. People thought you looked good in it. Okay, that's enough. No, it's fine. Were those the only comments? That I look hot? 
and that they're scared of me? That's what I've heard. And the only thing they talked about today was how they're scared of the consequences. And that's why they sent you here? To try to smooth things over? Is that it? Oh, not at all. I came here by my own will. Derek's the only one who knows I'm here right now. Oh, Derek. Say what you want about his manners, but he's a smart boy. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jonathan. That makes me feel better. Kathy, I don't have to put a damper on your mood, but are you really feeling better? I've been going over this many times in my head since yesterday, and in every scenario, I painted a picture where they're all making fun of me. It never crossed my mind that they were scared of me. That will make this much easier. Well, I'm happy it helped. You did help me. Thank you. Well, that went better than, uh, you know, possibly expected. Look at Isabella. She's like, mm, I don't know. They're both, I mean, even Jill's like, hmm, interesting. Okay. I think I'm ready to go home now. You're welcome to stay the night if you want. Thank you, but I don't need to. Are you sure? We're here for you. I I'm feeling very confident about returning to work tomorrow. I would offer you a ride home, but I've drank too much tonight. Let me call you a cab. Offer to drive her home? Do I even have a car? How I could I guess I could drive her home. Hey, I'm sober enough to drive. How about it? Oh yeah, I'm gonna take Isabella's car. This isn't the first time we've we've used her car. If you promise to return the car in one piece. That's why you have insurance. <laughs> that's not that's not something you say. Um okay, smarty pants. The keys are in the bowl by the door. Okay, it's been a while since I've driven. Hmm. You do have a license, don't you? Yeah, of course, but I don't have a car to practice with. My dad only drives his work van and can't use it in private. So I haven't had the chance to drive a lot. I'm glad it's an automatic, though. I have no clue how I'd make this work if I had to drive a stick. All right, where am I taking you? It's not far. Follow the signs to the hospital. Do you live near the hospital? Yes, yeah, close by it. Well, that's convenient. Luckily, I'm not a frequent visitor. You're feeling better about all of this now, right? I am. I was concerned they'd make fun of my body. Ghosts of the past coming back to haunt me. Oh, yeah. I remember you saying that you were bullied in the past. That leaves scars. It sure does, but like a scar causes your skin to get tougher, mental scars can have the same effect if you let them. Well, that's an interesting thought. You haven't asked what I'll do on Monday. I know. It was partly why I decided to come tonight. To see if I could help my friends. But after talking to you about it, I realized that it was selfish. For what it's worth, I'm sorry it happened. I won't go easy on them. Well, I'm not asking you to. I've said what I wanted to say, and you listened. It's your call now. You have the power. For me, I just hope I have a fraternity to return to on Monday. This is me. Thank you for the ride, Jonathan. I'll see you on Monday. Take care, Kathy. Oh, that was actually uneventful. And by that, I mean, I kind of expected something to happen with that, but it didn't. Interesting. Okay. It's not all about sexy time. <laughs> hey, I'm back. How did it go? Um, uh, She doesn't like when I joke, so maybe I just won't joke this time. It went fine. She seemed okay when I dropped her off. I don't know how you did it. We spent an entire evening trying to calm her down, and you come in here and talk to her for 10 minutes, and she's fine. She needed to hear the real version. She was probably making it worse imagining what people thought. The mind can be dangerous that way. Thank you, Jonathan. You did great. Oh, thanks, Bella. Crap. I mean, Isabella. Bella is fine. Oh, we got her to accept Bella from us. That's uh, that's progress from her. Because only her friends call her Bella from what she said before. What a weird Saturday night this must have been for you. 
It was unusual, but this is what you do for a friend. And it wasn't all bad. Would you like some wine? Um, sure. Is this one of your wine tasting nights, too? No, tonight we're drinking a guilty pleasure kind of wine. Oh, okay. How did your Hell Week party go? It ended early. Something happened. What happened? We went out for a while, and when we got back, someone had smashed some windows to the mansion and destroyed pretty much everything inside. What? You guys had a break-in, too? Something like that, yeah. Oh yeah, the the, the nerd, not the nerds, the uh, the preppies had a break in. Did you call the police? Oh, uh, that's what I said. Rusty was gonna call his dad first. Hey, did you know Rusty's a burgmeister? Who doesn't? He's been using his name to get ahead since the first day he came here. That's very different from how the Royces behave. When you say so, Jill. Did she just throw Jill under the bus? Um. What? <laughs> he didn't know she was a Royce. He didn't know she was like one of the, um, yeah, well, I mean, BNR, that's the name of the schools, Bergmeister and Royce. So there you go. But uh, Jonathan didn't know. Crap. You're a Royce? You didn't know? Bella, that, that was something to be a secret. How is your last name a secret? Everyone knows who you are. Jonathan doesn't. You should have told me that secret and why. Why is it a secret? Never mind. Hey, it's okay. There's no need to fight over this. Okay, so backstory. Jonathan and Jill have been on a date and Jonathan's been treating Jill very respectful and like a real person basically, but no other guy in her life has treated her like that because they know who she is and they know um like getting on her good side or maybe dating her or whatever thing or what you know you know how it is with rich people or maybe people in general if they see a way to get ahead even if it's through another innocent individual they will do it and so she hasn't had a real relationship and she kind of saw that you know jonathan not knowing who she is and still treating her like a human being but was something you know she liked Anyway, now he knows. Will Jonathan treat her the same? Probably. Jonathan's a pretty pretty decent dude from what we've seen so far. But we'll see. Let's keep going. All right. So you're a Royce. That doesn't change anything. I mean, you live in a mansion. I already knew that you had money. And I don't know anything about the Royces more than the R in B&R. We're not fighting, but you're right. Sorry, Bella. I'm sorry, too. So, other than that, the night was pretty good. I'm a dick now, but I'm not sure if I can move into the mansion. I'm going to have to go there tomorrow and see if I can help him clean the place up. Um, that must be Jill's phone, it looks like. Excuse me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, hold on. Jonathan punched Tybalt. Let's see if that comes up right now. Hello? Tybalt, calm down. What's wrong? Uh-oh. <laughs> there was a fire? Oh my god. Is everyone okay? Uh-huh. What a relief. What about the upper floors? No. I don't care about my room. What about my piano? Oh no. There wasn't really a fire, though. He just turned the sprinklers on. Are you sure? Okay. Phew. What? Look at Jonathan. <laughs> Wait, who punched you? No, don't do that. Yes. Uh-huh. Of course. Yes, tomorrow. Great, thank you. Bye. There was a fire at the mansion. What? Tybalt managed to put it out before it spread, but the sprinkler system started to ruin things on the first floor. Luckily, my piano and even my room are okay. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, I don't know what I'd do if my piano was ruined. I think I'm about to get kicked out of this little night. <laughs> here, here we go. Here we go. Jonathan, did you punch Tybalt? Yeah, but he slapped me and called me bad names. Jonathan, 
You shouldn't have done that. He wants to press charges. Come on, he started it. Violence. Is this really you, Jonathan? He's been a dick to me since day one, and it was a reflex. If someone hits me, I hit them back. I will talk to him tomorrow. I'll try to make him change his mind. Getting into way too much trouble without even thinking about the consequences. I can't keep doing this. This ends with Hell Week. This night just keeps on giving, doesn't it? I'm glad she's not like she's not super mad. Um, so that's good. That's good. I expected to get kicked out of the house just now. It makes me wonder what's next. <laughs> mm, I don't know. How about we turn off our phones and relax for the rest of the nights? That sounds good to me. This week was rough. Hell Week's just crazy. College has been hard, but for all the wrong reasons. Hell Week is rough, yes. Wait, you did Hell Week? I believe I told you. No. I'm pretty sure you only said that you went to college, not that you did it. Bella, <laughs> you haven't told me this story. I've told you about my sorority. But not about Hell Week. It's not that great of a story. It's just college memories. What did you do? Anything wild? No, I... Forget I brought that up. Yeah, she did some wild stuff. Now I really want to hear about it. And it looks to me like you want to talk about it. This story doesn't leave these four walls. Hey, I promise. Yeah, me too. Alright, come on, Bella. Once upon a time, now you go. <laughs> Once upon a time, this isn't an old fairy tale. This happened like 18 years ago. Oof, that sounds like a long time ago. <laughs> Why does time move so fast? <laughs> okay, stop stalling. Many years ago. <laughs> Some years ago. Oh, look at her. Okay. I was a freshman at Smith and Reading. It started as a general college education before I decided to major in English. The college had several fraternities and sororities. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's bigger than BNR. I was young and had moved pretty far to be there. I recognized some people from high school, but I was looking to make new friends. So I pledged a sorority. There was a sorority called Omega Mu Gamma, or OMG. Come on, come on, that's corny. Hold on, is Jonathan, did Jonathan catch that too? Jonathan and Jill both caught that. OMG, like oh my god. <laughs> Omega Mu Gamma. No, I think it's meant to be pronounced OMG. OMG, Bella, you were an OMG sister. <laughs> Fine. Don't hear the rest of the story. Uh, oh, don't be like that. I want to hear the rest. OMG, me too. Okay. Jonathan is not going to... He's. She's going to start making him call her Isabella again. <laughs> is this mockery coming from a boy who just joined a phallic fraternity? OMG, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm done. I'm done. So I joined this sorority. She's going to say it again. Called Omega Mu Gamma. Oh, they're trying not to laugh. That was good. It was a friendly sorority with plenty of sisters from a broad background. During my first week, it was Hell Week. I was mostly being bossed around by other sisters wearing silly outfits in public. Come weekend, there were drinking games involved. The college didn't allow hazing that included peer pressure or alcohol, but everyone still did it. It was futile to expect students to stop partying, yet when you grow up and somehow you expect the next generation will be smarter. Sadly, it only seems to get worse, or maybe that's the cynic in me talking. What was the most stupid thing you did? I got dared to tell a teacher I loved him. No, you didn't. I did. I confessed to a random teacher that I had a crush on him and that I think I even loved him. What did he say? He told me he was married and quickly excused himself from the conversation. 
That must have been so embarrassing. Not as embarrassing as finding out that during my second year, the same teacher was teaching two of the courses I had signed up for. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God, Bella. Did he remember you? Of course he remembered me. He avoided eye contact and was flustered during all of his sessions. Just thinking about it, it's like I'm reliving it. That's a fun story. For you, maybe. What about you, Jill? Me? You never did anything like Hell Week, right? No, I've been spared from that. I mean, I do go to some Alpha Nu Omega parties, but I don't participate in the actual hazing. Or spring break. I don't do spring break. Why? What do they do on spring break? Basically what everybody else does. Move to the beach for a week and have outdoor parties. I would say that it sounds fun, but I've seen what they do for Hell Week. So I'm sure they found a way to make spring break suck. <laughs> Jonathan, it's natural to enjoy different things. You're not like them. Mm, I'm a bit tired. It's been a long night. Yes, it's getting late. Do you want to stay the night, Jonathan? I was thinking about heading back to campus, but I must admit that it sounds better to crash on your couch or something. I'll get you a blanket and pillows. And with the new scene, I think it's about time we wrap this video up. We'll figure out what Tommy and Quinn are talking about in the next one. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, you know what to do. Go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.